Baxter, in contrast to the little mobile robots that we've seen so far, is the latest version of a more manipulator type robot. Whereas a traditional manipulator is a great big powerful device not safe to be anywhere near, Baxter has been specifically designed that humans can work in the same environment. And in fact, you can grab hold of Baxter's arms and move it around, which, for instance, you can use to program the Baxter to perform a particular task. And Baxter has been designed to interact with humans, as we shall show in this little demonstration. If I get closer, as he's asking me, like so, close enough, puts out his hand, and I'm Richard, nice to meet you. So if we look at Baxter as a whole, we can see that it has its two arms, each of which have seven degrees of freedom, which means it's almost as flexible as a human arm, and therefore, as long as it's within reach, the robot can pick up any object. If you think about how you, as a human, would try to pick an object up, you've got to move your arm until it's in the right place, which involves having your different joints to be in the correct position. Well, for Baxter, it has a series of motors which are actuators. You've got the gripper at the end, which you can move in and out. It's got a wrist joint. It's got an elbow joint. It's got a shoulder joint, just as we have. And so there are motors which are driving each of those joints. There is control associated with them for controlling the position or the angle of each joint. You can also specify how fast, so you need to have some velocity control, and also what sort of force is produced at each of the joints, that is torque control. And it's quite important, because Baxter's designed to work for humans, that it isn't what is prevented from turning round too rapidly, providing too much of a force, because it could knock you over. So, torque control is important for Baxter. If Baxter is to be able to pick something up, it needs to know where its gripper is. For each of its two arms, there are a variety of different sensors. In order to detect, it's got a camera at the end of the arm. It has infrared sensors, which, like the mobile robots, are used to detect distance. In this case, how far is the gripper above the table. It also has accelerometers, allowing it to measure force. It also has a set of ultrasonic sensors around the head, and there are flashing lights to show you that they are there, which can tell whether there is a human quite close, which again is part of this built-in safety mechanism.